Wachitiba Mayanja Nkanji had custody of Damula, the Mace of Authority for the Office of Katikiro from 1966 up to 1993 when he returned Damula to Sabasa Jakabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutevi. The late man Jankanji has been an ardent advisor to the Kabaka and he rendered invaluable counsel to me in this office of Katikiro. He has been one of the longest serving Ugandans in the public uh, sector, uh, right from the, his service in the Uganda Kingdom as Katikiro, uh, to his service of the country as a minister, to his service of the country as the chairman of Uganda Land Commission. Um, he has also been one of the most decent lawyers, long-standing lawyer. He's a person many Ugandans would like to emulate. So we used to know him uh, in Ibulange, in, in Mengo. He used to be a very good person. He could, he's, a, he's a Muganda who could tell you something in the morning and he could seek on it in the night. His calmness is always to be remembered by many and the way he used to respond to many queries, more so during the period of installing the new Kabaka, and that was 1993. Imanja Nkanji has been a very, very strong pillar in Kalungu. When he was a member of parliament, in my constituents, we have record of the schools he brought, like a Chato Senior Secondary School, and in some areas he put power as he was by then. The fact that he served as Minister of Finance, an Attorney General, a Minister of Justice, when I first interacted with him, he owned no personal car and was using a special hire. So in my view and in my opinion, Mayanja Nkanji lived a life of self-sacrifice and service. He was indeed incorruptible.